Hi, I'm Paul Friedman, founder of the Marriage Foundation. And this topic is really important for you. This is, I'm disappointed in my marriage, and this one is for men. There's going to be another one for women, but this one is for men. So let's talk about this, and let's talk about what you should expect from your marriage and let's talk about your role in making that happen. I've been doing this for over 20 years. I started out as a divorce mediator so I'm pretty good at understanding different people's points of view and I certainly understand a male point of view because I'm a man and there is so much misinformation and disinformation about marriage that truly when you got married you had no idea of what you were getting yourself into and you're gonna go yeah and I'm gonna explain to you why it just seems like the people who teach us about marriage after the fact because I'm sure you're doing plenty of research. We're not mainstream. You're going to find analyzing this and analyzing that and blaming your wife and maybe putting a little bit of pressure on you. And all of that is irrelevant. It's like anything else. Marriage is a thing. And when you know how to operate a thing, whatever that thing is, when you understand it, using the laws of physics and you understand the structure of it and the components it's not all that difficult now it may be very different from what you had expected but you have to go with what it is not with what you had expected so that's rule number one is to understand that what you're dealing with is a breakdown in understanding primarily so you don't understand your wife but I'm gonna go a step further you don't understand yourself as a man I'm gonna go a step further and this is not a religious thing you don't even understand that you are a composition you're a soul who has a body you live in the body and you have a mind. Did you know that? Have you thought of it in those terms? Okay, maybe you don't like the word soul. I think it's a good word for this, but you could use the word consciousness. You're a consciousness. You're not dependent on your body for your existence. Yes, in this earth you are, in the physical world, but you exist. Your body is biological. It's driven by the drive to survive. And you know that from school. Every life form is known to be alive because it has a drive to survive. So you have this body that's working on the mind, your mind, telling your mind, watch out for this, expect that, and a lot of men are going, man, I'm not getting enough sex. She wanted to have sex with me all the time before we got married, and now I got none. My hand gets batted away, my, I get a cold look, I, I'm called names. It's because you don't understand your wife. You don't understand what motivates her. You think you're being used. You think you're being abused. Ironic, right? Because women always go, we're abused. It's a lack of understanding. So you can have what I call the promises of marriage, and then you won't worry about all the other stuff because the other stuff will become part of the promises. The number one promise of marriage is happiness. You got married to be happier, and you're not. Hence, I'm disappointed in my marriage. You should be happier every single day of your life. 
Well, I'm going to ask you directly, what have you been doing to make yourself happy? You have free will. You don't depend on your wife to make you happy. You literally do not depend on outer conditions to be happy. You know that. You know people who are under tremendous pressure in horrible situations and yet they're happy. You know people who have the best lives yet they're not happy because it's an individual choice to be happy or not. If you choose to be happy, nobody and nothing can make you unhappy. And if you choose, maybe by default, to be unhappy, nothing can make you happy because you have free will. You didn't even think of it in those terms. We don't learn these things. And it's so important to know these things. And that's why we have books and we have a course for men to help you. This isn't about selling those things. This is about letting you know that the information exists. What will make you happy? Have you made a list? Have you made a list and said, this is what I want, and then take in each item and going, this is what I want to achieve, and these are the steps that I need to take to achieve it, or have you just blamed your wife for everything? Which is really not going to work, is it? Because you're not going to change her. She's not going to change you. We're individuals. We can't change each other. However, we can uplift each other. What have you done to uplift your wife? What have you done to please your wife? What are you doing to make her happy, to make her life amazing? Wasn't that what you promised her when you married her? There's so much to learn. Here's the thing. Not only can be, but should be your mission to make your marriage amazing. You have everything you need at your fingertips and you need to learn and you're not going to do it by listening to a video or reading an article. You got to get this knowledge. You got to get a process. You got to devise. And you'll have it. For sure. Been doing this for 20 years. We've helped many, many people. Take a look at our reviews. Take a look at what's going on with those of us who know what we're doing. You can't do this on your own, sad to say. Subscribe to the channel. There's a lot of information about marriage. Get rid of this discouragement. You have free will, volition, use it. Discouragement is like giving up. It's crazy. It's, it's like holding a glass of water and being thirsty. You have everything you need. Don't be discouraged. Be positive, but have a direction, have a course to take, and make it happen. Like the video, leave a comment if you wish. It's been a pleasure being with you, and I do hope that you got something out of this. Take care, and God bless. Thank you.